Hi guys! If you remember, a long time ago I've tested A123 systems ANR26650 M1B lithium ferrophosphate cells and compared grade A cells to grade B ones. Those were 2500 million power rated high drain cells capable of giving 70 amps continuously and having very low discharge cutoff voltage at 2 volts, while the majority of lithium ferrophosphate cells are to be discharged down to 2.5 volts. This time I've got another 26650 size high drain 2500 million power rated lithium ferrophosphate cell which can do 50 amps continuously and also has 2 volt discharge cutoff voltage. I'm talking about Queen Battery QB 26650 2500. I'm gonna test it and compare to ANR 26650 and one b as they both have the same size, the same capacity, the same discharge cutoff voltage and the difference is only in maximum continuous discharge current limit and that the Queen battery's charge and voltage is standard 3.65 volts versus 3.6 volts of A123 system cell, which makes easier to choose a BMS for QB. The discharge test is gonna be done at 0.2C, 5 amps, 10 amps and 20 amps. But first let's take a look at my testing equipment and then pass to the results and comparison. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZKE Tech EBC820, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building graphs. I've upgraded my battery holder to the version 3.0. I have made contact pads from 0.5mm pure copper sheet. The positive terminal is 9mm wide and the width of negative terminal is 11.5mm. The pads are designed to provide good connection even with batteries which have deep placed positive or negative contacts. I've followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The surrounding air temperature was 20-25 centigrade and before each discharging cycle the battery was charged at its standard charging current which is mentioned in its datasheet and after that it was left for one hour minimum as the standard requires. After this charging cycle the battery was again left for one hour minimum. I buy my batteries from Queen Battery which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. You can find a link to their website and their sales manager's email in the description under this video. The marking on the heat shrink tube includes only the model number, nominal capacity and nominal voltage. This cell has probably the most detailed datasheet possible. Here are the main specs from it. Typical capacity 2500 mAh at 1C discharge. Minimum capacity 2500 mAh again at 1C discharge. Nominal voltage 3.2 volts, charge end voltage 3.65 volts, charge cutoff current 50 milliamps, charge temperature from 0 to 45 centigrade, standard charge current from 0 to 15 centigrade 0 0.75 amps, from 15 to 25 centigrade 1.25 amps, from 25 to 45 centigrade 2.5 amps, fast charge current from 0 to 15 centigrade 1.25 amps from 15 to 25 centigrade 2.5 amps from 25 to 45 centigrade 5 amps fierce charge current from 0 to 15 centigrade prohibited from 15 to 25 centigrade 5 amps if the state of charge is less than 40 percent and charge time should be less than 10 minutes from 25 to 45 centigrade 12.5 amps if the state of charge is again less than 40 percent and charge time should be less than 5 minutes Discharge cutoff voltage 2 volts. Discharge temperature from minus 20 to 60 centigrade. Maximum continuous discharge current 50 amps. Maximum long pulse discharge 75 amps for less than 60 seconds if the cell's temperature is less than 60 centigrade. Maximum short pulse discharge 125 amps for less than 10 seconds if the state of charge is more than 50 percent and less than 3 seconds if the state of charge is less than 50 percent. Cell's temperature must be less than 60 centigrade. AC impedance less than 6 milliohms at 50% state of charge. Weight 86 grams. Cycle life after 2000 cycles at 2.5 amp charge, 2.5 amp discharge, the capacity should be not less than 2000 milliamp hours, which is equal to 80% of initial capacity. My cell's weight was 84.93 grams. 
The measured diameter of my cell was 26.6 mm and it was 65.1 mm long. The DC internal resistance measured at 2.5 amps in fully charged condition was around 6 mA. At 0.2C or 0.5 amp discharge, Queen Battery QB26650 2500 mAh cell gave out 27.06 mAh or 8730 mWh. At 5 amp discharge, 2580 mAh or 8105 mWh. At 10 amp discharge, 2551 mAh or 7838 mWh. At 20 amp discharge, 2557 mAh or 7593 mWh. As I promised, I'm gonna compare QB26650-2500 with ANR26650 and one b I'm gonna do it at 20 amp discharge. More than a year ago, I've already tested A123 system cells using version 2 of my battery holder. To make a fair comparison, I retested those cells using the last third version of my holder. I've repeated each test of Queen battery cell six times, and A123 system cells were tested four times each. Now let's see what we got. The picture looks very interesting. When we look at the capacity, grade B ANR26650 and 1B is the best and Queen battery is the worst, though the difference is very small. In terms of energy, the picture changes. QB is the best, the second is grade B and grade A is the worst. The difference is again very small. But when we look at the curves, we see that Queen battery cell stays above 3 volts about 65% of the time, while grade A and grade B fall below 3 volts quickly. I like the QB's curve, it's beautiful. Now let's build a comparison table. A123 cells maximum continuous discharge current is limited by 70 amps versus 50 amps in case of queen battery, but the latter has slightly higher pulse discharge rate. 3.65V charge end voltage is another advantage of QB because it maximizes its compatibility with BMS boards. Both queen battery and A123 cells support 2V discharge cutoff voltage, which is again very good. So there it is, the QB26650-2500. It could easily be rated at 2700 mAh and even at 20 amp discharge its capacity is noticeably higher than 2500. It has premium performance and surprised me a lot when I compared it to A123 cells. That's all about this cell. Did you like this video? Share it, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell to be notified about new videos on my channel. Bye bye!